Well, thank goodness this woman brought these six kittens to the Bastrop County Animal Shelter. Wendy was able to take on two, Christine took on four, and the woman said she hadn't seen the mama cat in over 72 hours, which means these little kittens had not eaten in over 72 hours. That's critical, and Christine was able to force feed and get them healthy. This one had a little injury on its paw, looked like an ant bite, but they're coming around. And now Christine has a good friend named Carly who's gonna take on the second leg and help us out with these kittens. And uh, But on the way there, we had to stop and feed. Okay, listen, here's the deal. I can't unzip this because if I unzip this, yeah, you guys are gonna come flying out and your, your mommy's, okay, your mommy's coming. She's gonna, yeah, and here you go. Let me pet you through here. She's gonna come and feed you, all right? I need you to just calm down for just a kitty minute, okay? Okay, kitten? I know, I know. All right, mama's here. Yeah. Mommy's here, calm down. And then you let them go until they want to, and then you move on to the next one. And then you circle back around a few times to see. And if one doesn't eat enough, milk drunk kitten. Yeah, seriously, if I if I didn't um if I could regulate my sleep and yeah. just not not sleep for two days, I would do this like around the clock. Like, that, well, that means you'd never sleep. Well, if I could, some people can. Some well, people look at can these regulate. little shenanigans. All right, next who's, one. Who's this? A little calico. Mm -hmm. These are my two strongest ones, so I usually feed first because they will take the least amount of time. Ah, I see. And then I work on the other two. You know, Christine and I never had children, and and sometimes she says she really feels like she missed out. But when I watch her nurture and take care of these kittens and our other medical fosters. She didn't miss out, and she's created a legacy out of love. You have to hold them still, because if you don't, they move and they don't get on the nipple. So it looks mean, but you're supposed to hold them. These are a little bit older, so we're not we're as worried about that. Boy, they were hungry. You hear the purring? Almost a purring. Yeah, here? Listen. Oh my God. What a little purr box. This is my <laughs> most purry one. <laughs> You're the most perfect. All right, let's do the super tiny one, and then we'll work on the calico again. Sometimes this one suckles. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. You got to clean their little poops? Yes, and you have to stimulate their bottom, because if they don't get the poops out, they move around in there, and they just poop on their friends, and then it's oh. very messy. So it'll start. They were diarrhea yesterday from formula change, so oh. this is actually the fact that these are super healthy poops. I'm gonna have to message her and let her know we are not making it. She was gonna be there before 3.30. Oh. Had to get back to work. Godspeed and good luck, little kittens. And by the way, Grandpa says he's gonna miss you.